Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can register a domain with Cloudflare. In order to do that, first create a free account with your Cloudflare. In order to do that, give an email address which you have and you need to create a password for your Cloudflare account. Password, it need to have a certain uh, characteristic. It will show you all the requirements. Once that is done, all you need to do is click on create an account and it will automatically create a brand new Cloudflare account, which you can use to create your uh, register your domains through Cloudflare or manage your DNS for your websites. Once that is done, all you need to go into domain registration on the left sidebar of the app. When you go into that, you will see a couple of pop-ups here. It will have display a pro plan. I don't need that. I first, I need to verify my email address in order to purchase a domain. I need to come inside here and click on send verification email and a verification email will be sent to my email inbox. Now I have opened up that verification email and clicked on it. All I need to do is just click on it. It will now show me your, my email has been verified. And once that is done, we are good to go. We have verified our email account. Now there is one more issue which we need to fix because if I go into domain registration again, now it will ask for payment information. For example, it shows no payment method is associated. I need to fix that. In order to do that, I need to come into the manage account section of the tool and inside that there will be something called billing and go into that and click on payment information. Here there is nothing come technical. All you need to do is create, uh, submit your debit card or credit card information here along with your contact details uh, as shown or as registered with your card details all you need to do is fill up your details uh, the way you want for the payment information i have blurred out this particular section because i want to uh, stop uh, the sharing the personal information because it's recording that so just fill up this is all basic information and once that is done it will give you an overall su summary of this particular details also in the payment uh, method screen also once that is done we don't need anything else we just need to go back into the domain registration section of it and click on register domain search on the domain name which you want and click on search it will display all the domains with all the different extensions which it has decide on which is the extension you want and click on purchase once you click on purchase it will give you a domain payment option on how many years and again it will ask you for registration registrant information basically this is the person detail who you want to wish to associate this domain with or so depending on your need if you want to give it for a personal per personal uh, domain give it for a person or you want to have a company related domain give your company detail along with your address and contact information this will be able to be visible under who is and they will be able to get the detail in case if they ever needed for that so i'm just going to fill up this details also with all my personal details uh, for the registrant uh, for this domain just need to wait for it i'm just filling up this uh, details as i talk I'm almost finished now filling up the postal code and once the postal code is done, I have blurred out this uh, section, but it's asking me what is the payment option. I'm selecting card, which I've already saved and it displaying me all the data, which is already stored. I'm just clicking on that. I'm ticking off auto renew. I don't want it. Once that is done, I'm clicked on the big complete purchase button and that's it basically now it will go out and register that particular domain for us we don't need to do anything else we just need to wait on it as for this to finish and depending on your internet and also the are servers working it will take time you can see it automatically registered for me now in order for me to manage the domain it is really simple i am sure giving you a small example on how to do that as well scroll down click on manage domain and within this page you will be able to see all the domain related details and managing your dns server and when is it is expiring and give you all the domain controls as well in upcoming videos i will also show you how you can set up your dns with uh, cloudflare and connect to your web hosting as well once again thank you so much for watching this video and if you like to see more videos like this in short uh, 
digital marketing tutorial tech tutorials or SaaS videos please click the subscribe button and once again i hope you have a great day and cheers guys